Horton Tucker. He's checked in for the Lakers. Westbrook comes in for Rondo. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Here's Horton Tucker. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. MP shot is off. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Timeout called the Lakers. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Let's give them a big round of applause. Your Laker Girls dance team. Los Angeles has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Westbrook outside. Back to James. Outside Davis. James, left side. Pass to Horton Tucker. Five to shoot. To the inside. MP. And he drops in the layup off the glass. MP's got 22. You have to admire the focus. What body control from MP to finish off the shot? Drummond with the ball. Outside. Green. And the three off target. MP against Curry. Pass to Davis. Shoots from 14. Good. Third basket in six attempts. He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. Curry against Westbrook. Now Drummond. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Jordan's checked in for the Lakers. Milton's checked in for the Sixers. The Lakers trail. And here's Westbrook. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Jordan finds Westbrook. He got a piece of it. Outside, Green. To the paint. Here's Embiid. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, this big guy, Joel Embiid, is a center with an awesome dunking arsenal. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Davis drawing the double team. Westbrook right side. Down low. Rebound by the 76ers. After this one, they're off to Los Angeles to take on the Clippers. That'll be their second of three games total on this road trip. Milton for three. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. Los Angeles has gone three of six from deep so far. Jordan, pass to MP. It's tipped. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Outside Milton. Pass to MB. Fires the three. Can't get it to fall. 0 for 2 now. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 3 from the three-point line in the second. Davis misses. The Sixers leading. Green for three. The shot. No good. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Horton Tucker. MP up top. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Just five on the clock. And the basket by Horton Tucker. Nice offense here. Close in. Great bet to go. The 76ers shooting 53% here in the second quarter. Here's Niang. Checked by Davis. Not 
knocked away. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. And finished off by Davis. We know DeAndre Jordan is a shot blocker, but that time, he got out and got a steal on the defensive end. Milton against Davis. Pass to Nia. Back to Milton. And here's Embiid. Lock at six. The kick out to Milton. Let's go with a three. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. You know, a feed like this shows you how well-rounded Joel Embiid's game is becoming and what a good teammate he is. He's not just looking for his own. Who poked away. Stolen by MP. Gordon Tucker on the wing. Back to Jordan. Kicks it out to MP. Pass to Jordan. Inside. And Embiid with the block. From deep. And a pretty tightly contested game here. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. He's been so disruptive defensively in the first half. His fast hands pick plenty of pockets. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. LeBron James out there with Taylor Horton Tucker. Then it's Anthony Davis. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's MP in at the shooting guard. That's the group for Frank Vogel getting going here in the second half. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. When speaking about LeBron James, Commissioner Adam Silver said he's certainly one of the league's hardest workers, which has as much to do with the success of his career as anything else. Also, off the court, it's incredible what he's done. He is a marvel in so many ways, but it all comes back to his focus and his dedication. Thanks, Allie. And it's in there. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. The Sixers trailing. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. Here's Maxi. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Right side Davis. Rebound by the 76ers. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Embiid finds Green. Here's Maxi. He's got 11. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by James. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Pass to Embiid. It's stolen by James. Here's Davis. And finished and off by Davis. Davis. What a find. MP setting up the easy bucket. The 76ers have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And then MP with the dunk. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. Here's MP. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist with that last one. Yeah, they're really working the paint now. Right around three minutes into this second half. Here's Maxi. Pass to Curry. Back to Maxi. 
That's his six make and 11 tries. High basketball IQ on display from Curry there, making a quick pass. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. Westbrook outside. Back to James. Jacks up a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. And here's Curry for three. The Lakers with a rebound. James has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's MP. And he banks in the layup. And now a nine-point Laker lead. You know, we've turned into a shooter's league. There's no denying that. But MP knows scoring inside is timeless. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. Yeah, and you know, as LeBron continues his illustrious, remarkable career, the question seems unavoidable. It's inevitable. Him or MJ for greatest of all time. For me, it's a matter of what flavor you like. You can't go wrong with either one. Personally, I know Jordan's got the rings. LeBron's got the career numbers. But I like the fact LeBron is 6'8", 250 plus. And Jordan is only 6'6", 215. I'm going with the bigger guy. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Davis. Anthony comes in for Horton Tucker. Monk, he's checked in for MP. And Nunn is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Oh, Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. Pass to Nunn. Up top, Monk. Shoots over Curry. Offline from the top of the key. You know, Clark, it seems LeBron has cemented his top two spot. But many will say he'll never pass Jordan. What do you think? Well, B, I tell you what, I don't have a problem with those folks who say that MJ is the greatest. I can see why people feel that way. And I'm leaning that way, but I love what LeBron has done longevity-wise. Titles are not the only measure for greatness in a team sport. So LeBron would get my nod just by an edge, a whisker, if I had to pick one or the other, him or MJ. Here's Maxi. Excellent timing by Howard. He knows exactly when to jump to deny shot attempt. Here's James. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Nothing out of the ordinary there for LeBron. I mean, insane athleticism. Drummond passes to Curry. Pass to Robinson. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by James. Here's Anthony. And Anthony slams it in. Yeah, you know, LeBron is already top 10 in career assists, okay? And he's also continuing to rack up the dimes and climbing just about every all-time chart there is in the NBA. Drummond with the bucket. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Now James. He's got nine. None. The pass to James. Good work defensively by Robinson. For Philadelphia, they've gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. To the middle. Here's Drummond. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Drummond's got 15. And you know, Drummond has no problem playing through contact. He excels at using that strong body of his to fight through contact and finish. James, outside. Pass to Howard. Just four to shoot. And he gets the bucket. Howard's got his third bucket of the night. And you know, the way that Howard is so crafty at using his body in the painted area, really hard to stop him given his size. Here's Maxi. None defends. And it's Maxi missing. Los Angeles has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Anthony, the pass to none. Floats one. He gets it in there. And now it's an 11-point Los Angeles lead. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. 
Here's Maxi. None defends. Ooh, Howard with a block. And he gets it back. Down low. Back to Anthony. Pass to none. Second chance shot. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Drummond likes to be in the middle of the action at both ends of the floor, playing defense and gobbling up rebounds. He makes a lot of good defensive plays. Here's Curry. Drills the baseline jumper. Curry's gotten his second bucket of the game. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for his shot. Now here's none. He's guarded closely. The rebound by Maxi. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 7 of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Throws it up high! And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's James. Count that one. He's now 5 for 8. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either. And it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. And Philadelphia calls time here. And you know, this could be the season that LeBron passes Carl Malone for second all-time in career scoring. And dare we think this after a Coming down to the floor for the 76ers. Embiid, high post. Embiid drawing the double team. Robinson on the wing. Pass to Milton. Shot clock at five. Puts up a three. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Los Angeles has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's MP. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Philadelphia has gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Pass to Milton. Outside Robinson. To the paint. Here's Embiid. Poke loose. And he lobs it up top. Robinson with the block. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. The Lakers on top, up by 11. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Our closer is now a tempo, intelligent tempo. Let's still run. One, two, three. And that's Frank Vogel asking his guys to dictate the pace and ramp it up a little bit. Yeah, he wants them to push the action, but be really smart about how they do it. Aggressive, yes. Careless, no. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Taking a look at the 76ers. Mitchell Robinson is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Danny Green. Then there's George Niang. And it's Milton in at the one. Now Los Angeles with it. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Pelicans at Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. To the inside. Oh, rejected by Jordan. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of there. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. First free throw is good. And the drive MP has is evident. This is a player that wants to be great and willing to do whatever it takes. And both free throws good for MP. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. 
Embiid misses. Los Angeles has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. You cannot afford to get too physical with MP. I mean, he's crafty at figuring out how to get to the line by drawing those fouls. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good for MP. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. Robinson can't hit. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Here's Milton. Pass to Embiid. On the wing, Green. Milton for three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. Yeah, they call him Dancing Danny Green, and you can see why. Excellent offensive instincts there. MP. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Milton up top. Checked by Davis. A nice shot by Milton. Milton. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Here's Horton Tucker to the middle. Here's MP. Up top, Davis. Westbrook with it. Jordan, the pass to Davis. Comes up empty down low. Outside, Green. The ball's knocked loose. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Yeah, you know, we all think of Green as a shooter, and he is. But he's capable of more than that. He uh, scores in other ways, too. Sneaky athleticism. Down low. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. And he just driving the stake in there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Embiid inside. Checked by Davis. Just five to shoot. And a big finish by Robinson. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. LeBron, he's checked in for Jordan. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Curry, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Oh, free throw no good for Robinson. Well, Anthony Davis helped rescuing the Lakers from some lean years. In the six seasons prior to his arrival, they'd missed the playoffs more times than in the previous 65 years of the franchise. And a year after they got him, they're hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. And now with his new contract, he should help them compete for a long time to come. James against Robinson. On the wing, Curry, the three ball, sinks it from distance. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And the 76ers with possession. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. And a big finish by Robinson. And I'll tell you, this thing looked pretty much over heading into the fourth. But give them a lot of credit for fighting their way back. Can't quite put my finger on it, but something gave them a jolt. And now they're knocking down everything. We've got some fireworks in store for us down the stretch. MP, the pass to Davis. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. 
There are very few that can handle and battle with Davis inside. I mean, he's got really tremendous strength and agility and a nice touch. First one falls for him. You know, with that combination of strength and length, Davis can easily overwhelm defenders and get himself to the foul line. Maxey, he's checked in for Milton. Both free throws good from Davis. Philadelphia has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Here's Maxey, pounded by Westbrook. Here's Maxey over James. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Davis. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. What a great effort that time by Davis. Just never gave up on it. Worked through tough defense and still found a way to get it up and down. For the Lakers, Anthony Davis. That free throw, good from Davis. For Philadelphia, they've gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. I see him, I see him. Pass to Curry. And a foul Lakers. called on MP. That's his third foul of the game. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? We'll write this down, B.A. So my mom is from New Orleans. So I know New Orleans very well. And so New Orleans was my favorite city, no question. The food there, oh, I'm getting full just thinking about it. <laughs> Kicks it out to Westbrook. James passes to MP. The shot's good on the assist by James. MP's got 38 points. Here's Niang. Checked by James. Robinson against Davis. Pass to Niang. Six on the shot clock. Shot to stop the run. That one's wide left. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Now here's Robinson. Back to Curry. Here's the floater. And the layup is good. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Hey, you want to try to guard LeBron, good luck. I mean, the king is impossible to stop. Fast, strong, smart, tough, creative. Draws lots of fouls. Both free throws good from James. You know, it really seems strange to say, but as big an impact as LeBron's made as a basketball player, he's making an even bigger impact oh, off the court. His philanthropy, his activism. I tell you what, this guy's a special person. I really believe he's going to be a case study of how an athlete can leverage his stardom, his celebrity, his resources in a way that leaves a lasting, impactful legacy for many, many years to come. Here's Maxi. Well, excellent job that time by Westbrook to challenge without foul. And it's Maxi missing. Pass to Horton Tucker. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Curry passes to Robinson. Back to Curry. Now Robinson, covered by MP. And a big finish by Robinson. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. James passes to MP. 
And down it goes. Two points. MP's got 18 points in just the second half. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Here's Niang. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Westbrook outside. James passes to MP. Westbrook with it. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Philadelphia has gone two of two from outside so far on the fourth. Pass to Nia. Back to Robinson. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Robinson's got eight points in the quarter. Inside, here's MP. And a nice finish on the layup. And the Lakers lead by 16. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Well, one more and that's it. He'll be DQ. Disqualified. He's got to be able to defend without picking up that last disqualifying foul. Danny Green. And he drops a first. Well, you know, the value of Green's career experience cannot be overstated. Those intangibles are extremely valuable. He has shared locker rooms with some of the best players in the NBA. To the paint. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Pass to Green. Here's Maxi, pounded by Westbrook. On the wing, Curry. Back to Robinson. And it's good. Mitchell Assisting on the play was Curry. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. To the inside. MP again. MP's got 48. Well, he's filling it up right now. Getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. And Philadelphia calls time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. All right, we present our New Balance Player of the Game, MP. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He thinks it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy, and it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Lakers on D. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. MP against Curry. From outside the arc, another three for Philadelphia. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Pass to MP. Outside Curry. Here's Maxi, pounded by Westbrook. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. And 
the shot no good. A bit short. Los Angeles has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. James, that's good. Ooh, you know, once LeBron gets into rhythm, I mean, this shot is butter on a lobster tail, boy. I mean, you see how confident he looks taking it? Count. Pass to Robinson. A minute and a half left in the final quarter. Here's Maxi. Lays it up and banks it in. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. To the middle. From nine feet out. Here's James. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Lakers. And a big part of their success was the second-chance buckets they secured tonight. Yeah, it's just proof that being aggressive on the boards can pay game-winning dividends. And it's another win for this team. 54 victories for them this year. And so that wraps up the season series between these two clubs. And they must be pleased to have finished things off at 2-0 against the 76ers. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for MP. He had a surplus of energy tonight, providing defensive help all over the floor and making it seem like they had six guys out there instead of five. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth. Hauled in by Curry. Philadelphia with the ball. They trail by 18. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know, it's hard to know what Seth's going to do when he pulls up this close. He's excellent at, at making the, the defense sisters, uncomfortable. Seth Curry. And he makes a first. And you know, for Curry, getting into the league has been a battle for Seth. I mean, he's more established and playing with more confidence now. Both shots good from the strike. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. And here's Rondo. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. <laughs> they were just dominant out there. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. And we'll see you next time. Tremendous job defensively, MP. Hey, walk me through your performance on that end. Look, everything starts on the defensive end for us. Good defense leads to good offense, and that's never more true than after a turnover when we can get out there and transition. Now look, so the more pressure I apply, the more turnovers I generate, the more easy buckets we get as a team. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, John. Absolutely, MP. Hey, thanks for your time.
When starting the jumper, you'll see the new shot meter fill up. The box inside the meter is the make window. You have to release the shot button or pro stick when the meter is inside that box to have a chance at making the shot. The closer you get to the ideal release point, indicated by the small hash mark in the center of the window, the greater your chances of successfully knocking down the shot. The make window will dynamically expand or shrink depending on your player's ratings, badges, energy level, and defensive coverage. Taking open shots with high rated players will be much easier to hit. And once you've put in the reps and know your release well, try turning the shot meter off in the controller settings. If you can still time your shots properly with the meter off, you'll get a nice boost to your shooting percentages. Another three. Now, if you're more of a finisher in the paint, to attempt a layup, press and hold the shot button or move and hold the pro stick in any direction while driving to the basket in close or mid range. For a dunk, do the same thing, but keep the sprint trigger held when you attempt the shot. If your player's ratings are high enough, and the starting lineups have concluded. So just sit right back and relax. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. Our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Brandon Ingram is an all-star talent, but then again, this is what he expected would happen. He said, confidence got me this far. Even with my build, I always had it. I think I have greatness in me, and I'm not going to stop until I'm the best. He certainly is well on his way to fulfilling that prophecy, Kevin. Tremendous, David. Thank you for that. And Greg, the outcome tonight could come down to the big men up front. And versatility will be a key. The, the front court that can be physical, but also pass it and stretch the floor, I think will be the ones that end up on top. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. The two megastars are the big men, LeBron and Davis. MP out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three spot. And for New Orleans, Alexander Walker and Ingram share wing duty. Wood out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Graham in at the point. Now here's Westbrook. To the inside. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And good that time. Now here's Graham. Pass to Ingram. Shoots the three. And they'll get another chance. Wood finds Ingram. Here's Alexander Walker. Five to shoot. Graham gets a wide open look. Good on the three point shot. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Got a piece of it. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Bring him against Westbrook. Graham, the pass to Wood. That's tipped. And Davis sends it back. This is what AD gives you at that end. He's made the all defensive first team multiple times. And it's Graham missing. That's another miss. Already they've missed three out of four to start. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Pass to West. Five on the clock. Wood with the block. Man, an aggressive block there by Wood. He's not going to shy away from competing defensively. Graham kicks to Ingram. Here's Alexander Walker. Tries again. LeBron trying to free himself up. The pass to Graham. Over Westbrook. And it's Graham missing. Lakers have gone two for four from the field so far today. And, you know, we talk about how Wood has moved around the league. He 
He also attended three different high schools. So he's been searching for direction for a long time. He gets that one. The persistence of Valanchun is paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. Back to James. That's good, and so Westbrook yeah, comes up James. with the assist. And now Wood is laser focused, putting up all star numbers over long stretches. And you look at where he started compared to where he is now. Wood may be one of the most improved players we've ever seen, especially if he continues to ascend from here. Now, here's MP. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Westbrook passes to LeBron. Inside, MP. Rebounded by Dallin Junis. The shot's good from LeBron. LeBron's got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, that's too close. LeBron is too big of a threat to score, especially from the interior. Ingram attacking and slam dunk by Ingram. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Horton Tucker following the score by New Orleans. Here's MP, and he drops MP. in the layup off the glass. This is strong right. and relentless. Right. MP has no issues playing through contact. Pelicans trail by three. And here's Ingram. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. And Jalen Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Alexander Walker. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Fires from the corner. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. The uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. Pass to Horton Tucker. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Westbrook dishes to MP. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And I imagine this is a really tough stretch of the season, Steve, for teams that are on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. Kevin, it is, but no player in this league is going to quit on the season. They're out there to compete no matter what the standings are. And there haven't been too many players who've had to prove themselves as much as MP. With all the hype he had coming into the league, he had to go out and make the doubters into believers. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. Here's Ingram. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. Lakers leading by three. The drive by MP. Misses in close. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And Davis sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Passes it to Valanciunas. Six on the shot clock. A second chance effort. That one a little long. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Here's Horton Tucker. Guarded by Valanciunas. And he stays with it. Here's MP. Banked in off the glass. MP. MP's got eight points. And those are bonus points for this team. MP hitting the boards hard. Ingram outside. Pass to Alexander Walker. And it's off from three-point range. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Here's the pass to Ingram. Graham in the corner. Hits the three-point bomb. He has six. Don't sleep on Ingram as a facilitator. 
has the size to see over defenders and make sound decisions. To the middle, here's MP. Doesn't go for him. Nice team from Valanciunas. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. Graham, the pass to Valanciunas. With the fadeaway. No good off the back of the rim. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. MP, that shot off the mark. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances, competed deep into that game, but... Had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. Hard to keep the consistency going, which I guess is the very definition of consistency. Keep it going. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by MP. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Alexander Walker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Ingram passes to Alexander Walker. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. What a read from MP. I love how he looks to get it to his open teammates. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Pelican. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You no, know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Hayes comes in for Christian Wood. Tate, he's checked in for Brandon Ingram. And Ellington is subbed in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for James. Carmelo Anthony comes in for Horton Tucker. Malik Monk, he's checked in for MP. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. Now, here's Tate. He's coming off a 13-point game against San Antonio. To the paint. And it's Howard finishing it off. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. And so Graham will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans, trailing by four. Dish now to Hayes. Ellington with it. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Here's Hernan Gomez. Goes up again. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Los Angeles leading by four. Nunn looking around. And there's the drive. Howard kicks to Nunn. Back to Howard. Goes back up. Pass to none. Rock it two. Fires it up. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Los Angeles. New Orleans has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Bring him against Jordan. And Jordan sends it back. Can't be careless with DeAndre is around. He slaps shots back with some real authority. Monk's shot's good. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Lakers. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. And Greg with Devontae Graham, you know he's going to shoot it. He has no hesitation letting it fly. 
Yeah, I mean, he's a solid three-point shooter who believes he can make any shot. About two-thirds of his shots all come from outside, so you know exactly what you're getting yes, Andy, with him. Foul. Clearly a foul. Mm -hmm. That's his first Pelican foul. shooting their first free throws of the game. And, and how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. At the line for two. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. 130 left in the first quarter of the game. None passes to Anthony. Back to none. Passes it to Jordan. Now, none. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And he goes in for the dunk. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Kept alive. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And then Monk with the dunk. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Now here's Graham. 17 points for him last game against San Antonio. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. Monk finds Anthony. Jordan at the elbow. Down low. And it's Anthony with the jam. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared focus and really jumped on the other team early. None against Graham. Throws it up high. Plays it in off a pretty alley-oop. Yeah, nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. And so it's MP making things happen for Los Angeles. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we've heard Russell Westbrook say his job is to do everything. But he understands that it's also a team effort. We got to do it together. And uh, I think that's more important than scoring any points or doing anything else is, is leadership. And uh, that's where I got to find my, my niche and uh, try to lead the guys. Break leadership. Substitution here for the Lakers. James checked in for Howard. Horton Jocker comes in for Carmelo Anthony. MPs checked in for Monk. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. They've got Jonas Valanciunas. Wayne Ellington is out there with Christian Wood. And it's Alexander Walker in at the point. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. MP in the last game against the 76ers was a revelation. He tallied 50 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. A very solid stat line for him in what was a terrific outing. And you know he wants to keep the momentum going, Kevin. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. They won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. That's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. Here's MP. Happy to see that one go in. He's shooting four for ten with that basket. And these tough finishes get MP going. He relishes any chance to score on aggressive coverage. Alexander Walker passes to Murphy. 
Here's Wood. He's covered by Rondo. Shot is good in the Los Angeles lead. It's cut down now to just seven on the basket from Wood. And, you know, he's got a wide range of skills inside. Wood's ready for whatever the defense throws at him. James, the pass to Horton Tucker. To the paint. Here's MP. And another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Wood. And the shot falls short this time. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Basket, good. MP. MP's got the lead up to 11 now for Los Angeles. It's scary when MP is going off like this. His adrenaline starts flowing, the teammates getting pumped, and then it's like a runaway train. Now here's Ellington, guarded closer. No good, that puts him at two for six. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's Horton Tucker. He averages about uh, five points a game. And there's the pass to MP. And that's a foul. It's called on Wayne Ellington. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. And the Pelicans making a change here. Ingram's checked in. The Lakers also changing it up. Davis has checked in for Jordan. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Rajon Rondo. LeBron against Wood. To the inside. MP, no good. Pelicans trail by 11. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. All going up court and finished off by LeBron. Rising up with force. Once LeBron takes flight, just get out of his way. Here's Ingram with the drive. And he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. James, the pass to MP. Back to LeBron. Wood with the block. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And here is Los Angeles now. And the basket by MP. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Alexander Walker passes to Ingram. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. LeBron James. That's on LeBron James. And this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever get, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. Taking two shots. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Greg, as we take a look at Ingram's free throw shooting, he went from a mediocre performer at the line to almost automatic after a few years in the NBA. And, and Kevin, it's a testament to the work he's put in. It was an area of his game he had to develop, and he didn't ignore it. And now his aggression on the court pays off with points at the line. Second free throw, no good. Hard to believe that Westbrook is in his 30s. Elite burst. He's still one of the more feared players for opponents. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Pass to Horton Tucker. Puts one up from 19. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got his fifth rebound in this one. Ellington, the pass to Alexander Walker. Over MP. Good on that shot. With that, the Los Angeles Leafs cut to just nine points on the basket from Alexander Walker. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. Yeah, they got into a terrific flow offensively. But a lot of that was because the defense they were facing was mediocre. Yeah, it seemed like they've got every shot they wanted. 
I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. Well, a lot of teams are going smaller these days, but big man Jonas Valanciunas still earning steady minutes year after year. Efficient scoring and a presence on the glass. He's able to punish teams inside if they want to play small ball. And competition is at the root of all sports. Certainly sometimes you know, things get chippy. And as a player, Rick, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going? Kevin, you're always taught to control but easier said than done. And in reality, sometimes you have to man up. You have to let it be known that you're not going to accept things. And at the same time, you got to be smart. So the goal is to beat the other team, not literally. Devontae Graham's checked in for Wayne Ellington. Graham, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. To the middle. It's deflected. It's torn by Valanciunas. MP against Ingram. Dishes to Graham. In the corner, it's Ingram. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got rebound number five here tonight. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Here's Graham. He's got 10, and they pick up two. Graham's got four points now in the quarter. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Back to Westbrook. LeBron passes to MP. Pelicans pull it in. Alexander Walker's got rebound number five here tonight. And stolen by MP. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Out to the wing. Horton Tucker, the pass to James. Shoots over Ingram, misses off the left iron. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Lobs it up there for Ingram. Throws down the alley oop slam. Because of that link, Ingram can catch that pass no matter where you put it. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you... And so it's MP making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, he, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steal. Well, if you want to get into your offense quickly before the defense can set up, creating turnovers is a great way to do it. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. The two megastars are the big men, LeBron and Davis. Russell Westbrook out there with MP. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three, the small forward. Alexander Walker passes to Valanciunas. Fade away. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. When Valanciunas is getting it to fall from there, the defense is in trouble. Passes it to Horton Tucker. Westbrook against Graham. Inside. Here's MP, and that comes MP. off the assist by Russell Westbrook. MP's got 22 points. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. LeBron James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint it's hard to score on it guys PA he is a lead in every way as are you thank you not a lot of resistance on the inside and they're taking full advantage driving in Westbrook with the block and that one goes out of bounds last touch by Westbrook 
Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Here's Ingram. And whether or not he makes the all-defensive team, LeBron is one of the league's premier defenders. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. MP, good. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Ingram. Poked loose and stolen by MP. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. James with the ball. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And that one drops. <laughs> And now it's a nine-point Los Angeles lead. As the lead continues to grow, this is just heady, sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. The Pelicans have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half started. Here he goes. And it's Graham missing. Lakers leading by nine. MP right side. Rebounded by Dallin Junis. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Here's Graham. Sinks the 15-footer. Graham's got 14 points for the game. This is what you do when your opponents try to take away the three and the painted area. The feed to James. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Eight points for LeBron. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. A pass to Valanciunas. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. For three, Ingram. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. And he finishes nicer LeBron on the way. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And Davis sends it back. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Valanciunas, he's got that long wings, man. You saw it right there on that play. Graham surveying the floor to the inside. No good from Valanciunas. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Lakers. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. The ferocity of LeBron on display. Just tearing through the lane with ease. Pelicans trail by 13. Graham dishes to Ingram. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. Wayne Ellington's checked in for New Orleans. And then for Los Angeles, Jordan comes in for Davis. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. Pass to MP. He kicks to Jordan. Lakers working the ball around now. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Passes to Horton Tucker. Back to none. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Smitty last year at the play-in tournament, the late season really heated up. 
Do you enjoy seeing teams work extra hard to secure their positions? Kevin, I loved it. There was no time to rest for those teams that wanted to fight their way out of the play-in. And like you said, at the end of the season, we had a lot of drama. It's simple. If you get open, LeBron will find you. The king is an incredible passer. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Here's Hayes. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Pass to Valanciunas over Jordan. And the Pelicans miss again. Here's Los Angeles now. They've gone on a 16 2 run, not allowing much. And the pass to Nunn. James wide open. And another basket for the Lakers. Oh, great ball movement there. Pelicans trail by 17. And here is Graham. 14 points for him. Pass to Valanciunas. Over Jordan. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by Ellington. Valanciunas has got 14 points for the game. Passes it to MP. Pelicans pull it in. This game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. That'll be game one of a four-game road trip. And the dunk by MP. No backing down when MP takes it up. He just slams it right in the grill. Driving inside. The shot's good from Ellington. Ellington's got his third basket of the night right there. Lakers leading by 15. Pass to Horton Tucker. Down low. And he banks MP. in the lane. 34 points for MP. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. And for only one season in Iowa State for Taylor Horton Tucker, uh, the second round pick, you know, he's getting some notice. I like this kid, Kevin. A crafty finisher, makes plays for oh, others, dang. uses his lift defensively, and he can fill up a statue. It doesn't take much for LeBron to get going, which is what makes him so intimidating. To the left wing. Alan Junis finds Graham. Over Jordan. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number five here tonight. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Here's none. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Ellington with it. Seven points in the game. Driving the lane. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got 11 rebounds in the game. It's tipped. Now here's Ellington. Covered by MP. And the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. Anthony's checked in for Jalen Horton Tucker. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Jordan. And it's Malik Monk in for MP. They grabbed their own miss. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Now Graham, 14 points for him. A putback, great positioning on the putback. And that's a pure... Lakers. Changes for New Orleans. Valanciunas, he's checked in for Hayes. Christian Wood comes in for Devontae Graham. And it's Ingram in for Wayne Ellington. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis is checked in for Howard. 
Orton Jagger comes in for LeBron. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Monk. And MP subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. They've got Christian Wood. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Hernan Gomez. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Tate in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Now the pass to Ingram. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. Don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, six eight. That, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that lead guard position. It's Ingram on the wing. He's covered by Westbrook. Just five to shoot. Ingram passes to Hernan Gomez. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. Scooped up. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. The drive by MP, and he makes good on the layup. MP's got 16 points here in the second half. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Horton Tucker, the pass to MP. Davis up top. Back to MP. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got assist number five here tonight. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. And, and also, how about the points they've got in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Lakers leading by 22. Come to me, come to me. Here's MP. The shot comes out. Nice deep from Valanciunas. The Pelicans have gone 6 of 8 from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Bounce pass Ingram. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for New Orleans. Devontae Graham comes in for Tate. Ingram right side. Shoots from the elbow. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Looking silky smooth there. I like watching Brandon Ingram use the mid-range area. Here's Horton Tucker. He's covered by Ingram. Here's Davis. Yep, that one goes. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. And so Graham will bring it up for the Pelicans. The Lakers with the rebound. Westbrook's got rebound number eight now on the night. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. A shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Here's Anthony. It's hauled in by Wood. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Win some solid looks for them. Here's Graham. Wood passes to Ingram. Four on the clock. And the Pelicans miss again. Lakers leading by 22. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Well, for New Orleans, shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. Davis against Valanciunas. Ingram outside. Just five on the clock. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Three-pointer, Graham. And so the ball's out of bounds. Graham touched it last. Ball. 
For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. The shake. Anthony trying to get open, and Davis can't get it to go. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Yes, that goes in. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. Here's Graham. No good on that one. Westbrook with the nice D there. The drive by MP. Anthony with the bucket. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. Here's Alexander Walker. Covered by Anthony. Shot good by Alexander Walker. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Pass to Horton Tucker. Back to Westbrook. Anthony against Wood. Anthony trying to get open. MP, no good. New Orleans has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Ingram wide open. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Graham's got four assists in the game. Passes it to Horton Tucker. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Back to Westbrook. 11 feet away. Got a hand on it. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Over Anthony. And that one goes long. Los Angeles leading by 21. MP, no good. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Anthony. Shot good by Alexander Walker. And, and that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. Westbrook passes to Davis. Over Valanciunas. And it's Davis missing. New Orleans has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And slammed up by Ingram. Pure determination here, guys. A fourth quarter run that has them looking better and better as we get ready for the stretch run. Los Angeles calls timeout. And one thing that's obvious from interviews and social media is that Brandon Ingram has a terrific work ethic. Yeah, this is a guy who really knows the value of hard work. It seems like he's always putting in hours at the gym or working on finding new ways to evolve his game. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Marshall comes in for Christian Wood. Jones checked in for Ingram. And Zadaransky subbed in for Javante Green. And here's New Orleans now. Right now, they're on a 9-0 run. LeBron against Jones. Here's Alexander Walker. Unable to get that one. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Plus eight in the rebound MP. differential. One more reason why they're in control. Oh, yeah. MP knows a thing or two about putting on a show. Get to the bucket and finish with fire. Alexander Walker passes to Sadoransky. Here's Alexander Walker. Hernan Gomez. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they are not into this game, they have to get some stops. Westbrook dishes to Davis. Here's Horton Tucker. Defended by Jones. Here's Westbrook. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Assisted. That's seven points for Russell Westbrook. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Marshall gets the bucket. You have to be ready to receive when Sanaraski has the ball. Shows excellent vision. Outside Westbrook. To the middle. Here's MP. Pelicans with the rebound. Alexander Walker's got nine. 
So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone. Really, really nice job playing defensive pressure in tonight's win. How much does film work contribute to being able to play the passing lanes like you did tonight? Um, film work is huge, but it's about more than passing lanes. You learn the tendencies too, little, little tells that help you anticipate what they're gonna do. Right, so how much does the coaching staff help you with that? Oh, they're a huge help, but I've, I, you gotta take initiative, Candice. If, if you're not doing film work outside of the team setting, you're putting yourself behind the eight ball. So film work is a must in this league or in any level of anything, really. If you got the opportunity to study film, take it. Just looked at my wrist, I got time. The two different $250,000 tournaments are underway in my team. Each season, get to the Emerald tier in Unlimited so you can compete on either last gen or current gen. Then compete for four hours on game days to maximize your score and qualify for the big tournament in March. The next game day is Saturday, January 8th, so there's really no time to waste. Get out there, build your best lineup, and see if you can qualify for the big tournament. Every season, Team 2K TV hits A beautiful look down at Staples Center and downtown L.A. Our setting for basketball tonight. Welcome, everyone, to a new season of the NBA. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us at 2K Sports are. As, hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. You could... Oh, yeah. He's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. All right. Let's check out the starting lineup for the Trailblazers. Norman Powell out there with Damian Lillard. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. Then it's Larry Nance, and it's Little in at the three. And for the Lakers, they've got MP. Taylor Horton Tucker is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Russell Westbrook, and it's Davis in at the center position. And the matchup at center tonight bears watching, Brent. When you look at the evolution of that position, what do you see? Well, I think more agility and more athleticism. The centers have to catch up with the speed of the game. And now their skill set, B.A., is not on the block back to the basket trying to find opportunities to score. It's playing on the perimeter, not just shooting, 
but making plays. And here's James, MP. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. You have to admire the focus. What body control from MP to finish off the shot. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Powell. And Powell with the stuff. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Powell finds Nurkic. And here's Davis. Powell covers. Davis, the pass to MP. Oh, another miss by MP. Now Portland with it. It's a three-point game. Last year, this team got the better of them in the season series. So they're looking to correct that. It's Powell, high post. Davis on him. Down to five on the shot clock. Second chance effort. The Lakers with a rebound. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented.